Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. A warm welcome to all my new subscribers. One love, don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel. I love all my subscribers. I appreciate everyone who comes on my video and show support, okay? I love that. Please subscribe to my channel, right? Please subscribe. So this situation is very disturbing. Once again, very disturbing, right? Um, I don't know where to start and I do not know where to end, right? We want our sweet, sweet TNT back. Agree? We all agree. This place is becoming a very dark, doomy, 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 doomy place, right? Very gloomy, dark, dark world we, we are living in. Please save this country. We need change, right? A 59-year-old woman, right, who entered a PH taxi once again, was robbed and thrown out of the vehicle on Wednesday afternoon. Why are you treating women like, like this? I don't understand, right? Not everyone could afford to have a vehicle and be driving on the street, right? Why women is being tossed around like this and being treated this way? I don't understand, right? Thank God she's alive. The woman was thrown out of a vehicle, a moving vehicle. That's insane. The woman told police she entered a gold-colored vehicle, right? Along San Fernando around 4 p.m. on Wednesday. A man was seated in front of the passenger seat, right? And and he threw he threw he just threw the woman out of the vehicle, a driving vehicle. This is crazy. And he robbed her also. He robbed the woman of cash, jewelry, and her cell phone, right? And and she, oh my God, this is so disturbing. She was then pushed out of the vehicle near an unfurnished, unfinished housing development um, place, right? The police said. And then she reported the incident to the Laramain Lara police station, this is crazy. Why, why, why these predators? I, I have to ask myself this question and, and the people in, in charge, leaders. Why predators are driving um, PH taxis? That seemed like a predator's um, safe haven, right? They go there and they know nothing is going to be done. So they continue to do it and continue to do it. Women have to protect themselves, right? Self-defense courses, get into one of those, right? Please do, please do, because this is insane and this is getting chaotic, right? Let's all protect ourselves by any means necessary and protect your kids and just, just be careful out there. It's a jungle out there. We're tired of it. We're fed up. We're fed up. Okay, this was just a quick video, you know. Very disturbing. The, these these cars need to have surveillance in the cars and outside of the cars, right? And women, it, it probably need you need like a bell or something to like shout when you when you shout out, help, you know, some it just goes off or a keychain that goes off and makes a bu bunch of noise. This is insane. This place needs to be cleaned up. Needs to be cleaned up. And, and these nasty predators is making good men of Trinidad and Tobago look terrible. Who, who, is, who is doing what they're supposed to do? And it's family men and, and they love their families and they're not into that um, predatorial behavior. That is what is going on. You understand? Not all men of Trinidad and Tobago is like this, right? This is insane. God save us all, right? Thumbs up the video. One love. Big up to um, my... Guyanese people, Trini people, Canadian people, Bayesian people, Jamaican people, everyone, right? Let's bridge the gap. Let's not be divided, right? And let's not be judgmental because we love our country and we're going to stand for the rights of us. And we demand rights because we have our rights. But there's, these people are so corrupted that... They think they could do anything, but the, we need to raise hell in here, right? And that's what we're going to do. One love, y'all. Stay I'm safe. I think that this is a time that our country has shown change yeah. so much mm -hmm. and support for each other. And 
my thing is is that we can do more for each other yeah we can be our brothers and sisters people